Hey guys, it's Danny here at Letter Rip Tater Chip channel, and today uh, is a follow-up video. This has been a kind of a long time in the making um, because I've had to do a lot of adjustments with this guitar that I built. Uh, I showed you the process of me building, painting, what have you with it. Um, but yeah, I had to do a lot of intonation uh, adjustments, uh, chest rod adjustment for the neck because the neck was uh, bowed back, I had to bow it forward. Um, so with that, I had to do a lot more, you know, intonation work and and fret work on, um, well, not fret work, but string height wise to get it uh, pretty much close to perfect. Um, but I am going to talk about the guitar a little bit. Uh, like I've probably said before in a video, uh, I'm a giant German metal slash Austrian metal fan. And one of my favorite metal bands from Germany is Accept. Um, and the guitar player in that band is Wolf Hoffman, uh, one of my guitar heroes. And that's why I kind of modeled this guitar after one of his. Painted it white. Most of his guitars are white. Um, also, along with uh, Michael Schenker from UFO and early Scorpions, and uh, also his own group, Michael Schenker Group, and I think it's Michael Schenker's Temple of Rock now. Um, but so that's why I got this Flying V to kind of model after those guys. Um, but I will go through the guitar, show you the pickups, show you the, the setups that I've done, um, a little additive things that I've done uh, uh, cosmetically to the guitar, and that's pretty much it what I'm going to go over with this video. It's a follow-up video, like I said, to show you what I've done with this guitar. So going from the headstock of the guitar, um, cosmetically, I put that upside down cross up there just to signify kind of, you know, satanic stuff, <laughs> satanic metal bands and uh, black metal bands along with that. Coming down the neck of the guitar, uh, I love the, the big block inlays in there. Now we're getting to the pickups. That is an EMG passive single coil and that is a, I believe, an EMG H4 passive. It's equivalent to the uh, 81 active pickup. Um, so a combination of these, uh, the single coil and the humbucker. For me, I, I believe it gives, uh, with the humbucker anyway, a that crunchy, crunchy tone that I love. And then, again, with the single coil, um, for, like, blues, because uh, I like a lot of blues, and I feel like in my, lead, my leads and solos, I do a lot of bluesy licks and stuff. So that gives the tonality for blues licks. It gives that warm, warm tone. And then going down again to the humbucker gives that crunchy high end. Um, now go into my pots right here. I have a uh, three-way switch. So when it's down, it's on the humbucker. In the middle, it's on both. And when it's up like it is now, it's on the single coil. Um, I only have one volume and one tone. So usually I leave uh, my tone all the way up on 10 always. Um, and then volume, I usually leave a little lower for like rhythm and then I'll turn it up higher for solos. Um, coming down, I moved the jack input from the bottom of the guitar over here to here. So it's more of a quicker input. Um, so like when you're changing out guitars, you just snap, snap instead of like reaching your arm all the way down here to plug it in. So what I did for that little hole that was there, I filled it in with a cork, and then to seal it, I put a candle wax seal in there, and then I put my initial in the wax. So it's cosmetically, it looks cool. And then 
on the other side, you guys may have seen this, um, I put a German World War I um, medal in the guitar, or on the guitar, sorry, uh, just to signify, you know, German metal and German history and all that. Then on the back of the guitar, I painted the neck um, and clear coated over it so it's nice and smooth. Comes down to a set neck. Then I have my strap locks. And then on the back of the guitar, to pay tribute to Immortal slash Abbott, I painted uh, a little Abbott bass on the back of the guitar. And then coming down further on my strap, I have a foxtail just to give it a little more cool aesthetic and uh, and uh, just to have a little flair, I guess. So that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, I just wanted to show you the completed guitar, how it sounds, and uh, show you all the stuff that I've done with it. Um, so again, guys, just remember, let her rip, tater chip. Oh.